Welcome to Cheap Joe's Art Stuff. My name is Julie and I'm here to impart some knowledge to you today via a two minute art tip. And today we're going to be talking just simply about five things I know for sure. And the first is that one, working every single day is the one guaranteed way to improve your work bar none. Doesn't matter if you draw, paint, sculpt, performance artist, doesn't matter. But working in, in your practice every single day is going to keep idea generation fresh and your mind moving and you're constantly building on those neurons and keeping things going. Now I know it is very, very difficult to find time every single day to do something. Even I can't do that all the time. You know, but it is a very, very important way if you want to improve and you want to keep this train moving is find some time, carve some stuff out, make time for yourself and your art and do some every single day. The second thing I know for sure is I really don't like phthalo blue that much. I've started to realize that it's just kind of pushy and annoying and I don't really enjoy it. Uh, if you've ever noticed that phthalo blue is highly intense, it's an extremely powerful color. It's also just kind of rude, like Janice from Friends, if you remember her. It's kind of like phthalo blue reminds me of Janice. It's, uh, you know, like I know it's a great mixing color and yada, 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 but like my Lord, it seems like there's 80 million other ways to work around that problem without having to deal with that. So. The third thing I know for sure is that circus peanuts are not a food, people. Like, that's not even a candy. Circus peanuts are disgusting. And, like, they should be limited to things for, like, rechinking cabins in the woods or maybe shove a handful in the microwave and make rescue rafts for people. I don't know. That's not food. Those are disgusting. Ugh. And then... Surround yourself with creative people. This is number four on the must know things that I know for sure. Surrounding yourself with creative, fascinating people is the super highway to inspiration. Like every day, you know, when I come into Cheap Joe's and I'm talking to people, somebody invariably will say something kind of fascinating that will get my brain going and thinking in a new direction that maybe it hasn't before. And it's just because we have a collective of so many creative dynamic people here that somebody's always got something going on and it's very, very uh, interesting environment. So find your interesting environment. Find your people, man. Like get out there, whether it's a group, you know, of artists or maybe it's not. Maybe it's just a group of friends that are completely and totally insane and make you feel good. Like go around those super interesting, fascinating people and it will provide inspiration nonstop for you. And then five, last thing that I know absolutely for sure is that anything that you do is better when you have a great pen. Like, if you find pens that you like, you need to go buy a big fat fistful of them and keep them everywhere, in your purse, in your desk, in your car. Because anything that you do, even if it's writing a check to the IRS, at least you can do it with a smirk uh, with a really, really great pen. So, like, make sure that you have a whole bunch of those laying around. Because, like, when you need one and you need a little smile, you're like, okay, here we go. At least I got my pen. Uh, so we hope this is useful for you and that you enjoy.